Sí, sí Carlos. Ajá. O sea, tal vez no es que no tenga autoridad, pero, pero el, el, el que te tome en cuenta... Hi, teacher. Que... Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Hi, good night, teacher. El que te tome en cuenta todo es... Sí, es sin zafón. Y es inglés corporativo, aunque la teacher te diga... Perdón, teacher, que estamos hablando de usted. Okay. <ríe> la teacher no, 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 es que estamos te... hablando de que ya nos enviaron la invitación para el oh, próximo yes. curso. No, entonces estábamos hablando de que tiene mucho que ver el hecho de que todos encendamos la cámara porque eso es un requisito que nos preguntan e incluso cuando me llamaron este, para este módulo me preguntaron si no tenía inconveniente con la cámara y con un micrófono y digo no, no tengo ningún inconveniente pero sí es requisito 100% de que tengamos encendida la cámara you know? aparte uh -huh. de que siento que es una falta de respeto para todos, para ustedes, para todos nosotros el hecho de no encender Exacto. Otra de las cosas, otra de las cosas uh -huh. que nos, nos recalcaban algún, algún teacher anterior yes. era de que pongamos el nombre completo, o sea, eh, porque el inglés corporativo está tomando la, la imagen de todo, y eso es lo que yo les decía, que, o sea, no importa, a usted, teacher, le podemos decir, mire, teacher, fíjese, déme permiso, pero, pero, en inglés corporativo They don't know, hace, right? como, mm -hmm. hace como caso omiso a lo que a, a lo que uno le pidiendo permiso de alguna They're cosa. They're going to después. take it as an excuse, exactly, because mm -hmm. remember, they are very clear at the beginning, okay? Igual, they... igual en los permisos, exactly. la teacher. Eh, cuando, cuando alguien dice, mire, teacher, me da permiso, usted le puede decir, basta bien, pero, pero la cosa es que inglés corporativo no, no lo toma en cuenta, así como que le voy a dar permiso y, y ya, pues. Right. Mm -hmm. So yes, let me explain this one. Se los explico en español. Recuerden que es un compromiso que nosotros hacemos. Bueno, igual, ustedes como estudiantes, es un compromiso porque es una beca, ¿ok? Se les da la oportunidad de adquirir la beca y creo que los compromisos no son nada difíciles de cumplir, ¿ok? Se les pregunta inconvenientes para encender la cámara o creo que todos tenemos una cámara o un dispositivo con cámara. Creo que no cuesta para nada encender la cámara e interactuar. Why? Recuerden que el inglés es la manera que se aprende. Ustedes más que todo van a estar en contacto con la persona hablando inglés, incluso nativos. Así siempre face to face. Esa interacción es bien necesaria. ¿so? Por eso recuerden el compromiso. Se explica en la primera clase. Se les recuerda en todas las clases. At the beginning. Cámaras encendidas. Porque, como decía César, si sí es cierto, ustedes pueden justificarme a mí, tengo cámara apagada, pero ¿qué si viene alguien a auditar nuestra clase? No va a saber cuál fue lo que le expresó a la teacher, tal vez por chat o por WhatsApp, sino va a ver las cámaras apagadas. Así que, yes, gracias por ustedes mismos recordarse los compromisos. Y la puntualidad también es algo muy importante. Cada minuto cuenta, cada minuto se va marcando. Si se fijan, eh, a veces por el cambio de grupo que me toca hacer, vengo dos minutos, nueve con dos, pero lo compensamos al final para que queden exactamente los 60 minutos de clase y no se pierda ni siquiera uno. So, es mejor dar más a quedar de bien, right? So, excellent class. Here we go. Me va a disculpar, teacher, que me tomé las atribuciones que no debía. <laughs> no, you know, I guess this is important. Muchas veces es bueno, pues, mencionarlo y no tomarlo como por un hecho. Si nadie lo menciona, pues, yo sigo haciéndolo. No, si ya sabemos y se nos dieron las indicaciones al inicio, pues, creo que es bueno mantener las reglas en todas las clases. Las 16 clases que compartimos es bueno tenerlas, ¿ok? Y siempre en mi caso, si se fijan, les estoy diciendo cameras on participate. So, para que no digan, la teacher nunca me dijo, of course I did. I did and at the beginning and I have evidence. Tengo evidencia también. So, al final, creo que cada quien pues va a justificar qué, qué pasó con cámara, qué pasó con la participación. And so, on. so tomémoslo como eh, algo positivo, no como un regaño o como algo que nos sirva para sentirnos mal, no, al contrario. So, I know you can do it. Y desde el momento que ustedes hacen el esfuerzo de unirse a la clase a esta hora, dice mucho, ustedes quieren aprender, right? 
estamos ya en un muy buen nivel. Y vamos a ver el siguiente y esperemos de que concluyan con el avanzado. Yo sé que lo van a hacer. So this is your purpose, right? To speak in a fluent manner and to learn vocabulary and to practice with your classmates. So great job class. And let's see. I'm just missing Rebecca and Fernando with the cameras. So hi Fernando. Sí, so, hi teacher. Eh, recién digo, pero ya, ya un momento. No worry, that's okay. How about Rebecca? Ayer, ayer no pude. Ayer no pude entrar. Ayer tuve problemas, demasiado problemas. Oh, really? Because of the blackout? Por lo del de internet o del... Um... Sí, y luego se vino una lluvia fuerte yes, que eso right. sonate y pues ya. So I imagine. So, thank you so much for letting me know about the inconvenience to join the class. Su nombre completo, Fernando. Arturo Mendoza. No, que lo pongas en la... Ah, ok. Oh. Ahí vas, ok. Es que es parte de los lineamientos. Yes, it is. You know, even I cannot change my name. If you see, there is only... Yo no puedo cambiar lo que dice inglés corporativo. I cannot switch it by my name. I would really like to have my name there. But I cannot. Sí, Do you still sí, remember my name? Sí tengo, By any chance? Sí, tengo mi nombre. ¿Dónde aparece? Es que solo aparece Fernando Mendoza y en esa por eje que sea completo. Oh. If you can not, I can help you. I can help you with that, okay? okay. If you can, if you are not able to do it. So, class. Okay. Let me see. Did you practice verbs in past? That was the last topic from yesterday. We were giving you some ideas on how to memorize verbs in the simple present and at the same time with the simple past, regular and irregulars. So did you practice? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No teacher. No teacher. A little bit. So, you know, take this as a challenge. Tómelo como reto. At least you need to memorize five verbs in past every day. There's no excuse. Por lo menos cinco diarios. Or if you can, ten or more. So how do I do it? Como lo hago al finalizar de la clase, escribo en una página, lo pego en un lugar visible y los memorizo. Please next to the television, next to the computer, or I can have some yeah, screenshots, right? So I can check my cell phone. There are so many apps that you can easily download and practice your English. Remember that this is a process. You need to keep on learning and practicing what you have learned. If not, you're going to forget about this. So, sure. yes, tell me. Eh, tengo, tengo, quiero que me aclare algo. Eh, ¿Se llaman irregulares porque no siguen las reglas? ¿O por qué mm. se llaman irregulares? Why? Because the way of writing changes. Porque cambia la escritura, el tipo de escritura. Del verbo base o el verbo en presente cambia uh -huh. totalmente o cambia mucho cuando lo escribimos en pasado. For example, the verb go. Mm -hmm. El verbo go, ¿cuál es el pasado de go? Went. went. Si se fijan, no te parece went. absolutamente nada. Go and went. Mm -hmm. Por eso es speak. irregular. También, uh, right? Speak, spoke. Speak, spoke. Spoke, spoke, spoken, yes. El take, stop. Speak, speak uh, teacher, y talk. Uh, hablar, hablo también, ¿verdad? Talk. Yes, talk. Yes, talk. That is talk. a regular talk. talk. Mm -hmm. talk. Very good. All right. Y en el caso de puts y lets que se mantienen. Um, they have the same. Cambia put? No, they are pronounced in the same way and also written in the same way. Son bien similares. Put, put, put. So in this case, 
there are like some exceptions, right? But we have minimal exceptions. Muy pocas excepciones, right? So what day is it today? Veamos. May 19, very good. So do I have Aleli Concepcion in the class? Present. Excellent. Ana Estefan. Present. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Fernando Arturo. Present. Gerson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here is right. Irma Raquel. Irma. Oh, there she is. Irma. Right. Josué Neftali. I'm ready. Okay. Kimberly Janet. Present. María Lucila. Present. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Mm -hmm. Present. Present. Excellent. Nurian Karina. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Rebecca Eunice. Present teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Present. Roxana Beatriz. Here. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. And Zaira Jamilet. Present. There we go. Great job, class. So let me see. As I mentioned yesterday, section number four and section number five, we have the same topic, the simple present, right? So Today, we are going to go and check section number five. Or let me ask you, do you have questions about the exercises from section number four? Yes, Nurian, Karina, I'm sorry. Teacher, si mencionado en la lista que acabo de ingresar. Oh, yes, let me check it. Karina is in the class already. Bien, ahorita actualizo. So, questions about exercises, activities from section number four? Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes, today. Yes, questions. So, what are your questions? I'm ready to hear. Yes, mission. No questions or no. yes? No, no questions. So? No question. Let's move on. Let's move on. As you may see, the last activities from section number four, we have some reading, reading examples and exercises. So yes, you can easily go and check vocabulary. This is a reading exercise as well. So let's move on to the next section. This is the last one, you see? Section number five. And in this case, take a look at the first exercise that we have in section number five. Who can help me out to read? What is the lesson objective? Who can read this information for me? This one. Volunteers. Excuse me, Miss. Okay. 
who can read the lesson objective for me? Who can help me out to read? Thank you, Walter. Can I read? Me. Okay, first Walter and then you in Spanish, okay? Let's do it in that way. Go. It's okay. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this, this topic is used in a real life setting. Great, brilliant, excellent. Okay, in Spanish now. Okay. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado con el verbo ser. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Ok, excelente. Tiene voz de locutora, los dos. Qué bonito el pronuncio. Bien, past. Look at this one. We are going to be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of verb to be. Who can tell me what is the past of the verb to be? Present, am, is, and are. So what is the past? Was. There we was. go. Only what? Was and where. That's it. And where. What where. And where. If you see in the, well, in the simple present or in the present form, we have three types of um, to express this verb. Tres tipos de, o lo diferenciamos en tres formas. Am, is, and are. But when we talk about the simple past, we are just going to have two types of um, having this verb, was and were, right? So this is the past of the verb to be. Let's go watch the information that we have and then we are going to have some exercises and examples. You can sure. find it down. Eh, tengo, tengo una duda. Eh, yes, para el presente tenemos tres, yes. tres y para el pasado tenemos dos. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, eh, ¿cuáles pronombres usamos para was y cuáles para where? Mm -hmm. That's it. If you want, we can start with that information. Vámonos con esa información primero. Very good job. Let's compare. Okay, let me write the subjects. I. I. You. You. Mm -hmm. He. She. She. she it. it we. They. they. And you. you. Yeah, you for singular and you for plural. That's it. So, next to this one, we are going to express the ones for the simple present. Am, um, is, and are. I guess you already know this information, right? But we are just going to compare. So how do we say, or how do we conjugate, express this in English? I? Um, um, I am. Um, very good. How about for you? You are. Uh, you are. And then for the third person, third person, he, she, and it, what do we have? Is, 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 he, is, she, and it is. is. <laughs> For we, they, and is. you, what do we have? Are. 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 That's it. Like this yeah. one. This. Three are going to have the same. He, she, it is. We, they, and you are. Very good. So, for the past, we are going to have the same. But in this case, with the pronoun I, we are going to use was the same as he, she. So that is the big difference, you know. Simple past, I was. She I was was 
he was and he Thursday. 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 Singular was and plural were. Yes, I was, she was, he was, and it was. Mm, tal vez no singular, sino que en este caso con la primera persona y tercera was. And then we have you, they, and we with the use of were. Mm -hmm. So that's. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Great. Now that we have said. But we have given this information. You're going to watch some examples, you see? With different subjects. So you're going to also identify what is the rule or the structure that we have. Here we go. In 1998. Okay, let me bring it back. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Great. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. So if you see from the beginning of the conversation, we already have a sentence using the simple past of this verb, verb to be. Take a look at the topic. What is the topic about? Conversation. Look. What is that? Hey, in a camera, chinano, por ahí. What is that, class? I was born in Korea. So, from the beginning, of this reading, we have this sentence, affirmative sentence. I was born in Korea, right? So who do we have in the conversation? Who are these people in the conversation? What's her name and what's his name? Can you tell me those details right now, please? Chuck and Melissa. His name is Chuck and her name is Melissa. Great. So, who was born in Korea? Melissa. Oh, it's Melissa, right? And where are they right now? What is the name of that place? Um, they are in USA. No, but be specific. Take a look at the picture. Where are they at this moment? How do you oh. call the place? In a beauty salon. Okay, that's it. Very good. In so, Korea. I don't think they are in Korea right now. So let's listen to the conversation so we can find out. Here we go. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Let's take a look at the statements Wait. on this chart. Let me get back to the conversation. What did you get from the conversation? Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first well your english is really good now thanks your english is pretty good too yes 
but I was born here. So listen to this conversation. He was born there. This is similar as when people say, hey, listen to that kid. He speaks English very well, but they were born in the US. That's why they can speak fluent English as well. So you see, this is the conversation about. Look at the conversation. Can you identify sentences using was or where? Pueden identificar sentences usando was and where? La yes. Shop, this is a say, where are you born? The second. This is a question. Where? I was born in Korea. Very good. Then we have another example here. I was born in Korea. Great. This is another example. You were pretty young. Very good. Yes, Elvis. This is another example. A question. You were a question, born. teacher. Tell me, please. The question uh, is, um, Chuck, did you go to college right away? Okay, just give me a second so I can listen to you. It yes, was only 17. Yeah, but let me listen to Elvis first. Tell me your question. Uh, which the different difference hmm? pronunciation between where uh, of verb B uh, and where uh, of place? Okay, excellent. Where as the WH word and where as the verb, the pass of verb to be, right? This one. Where and where. So if you see, we have this WH war. So this is a little bit the same pronunciation, but it sounds like were, were. And in the second one, when we are talking about the past of the verb to be, we are going to pronounce it where, 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 where. Yeah. It's the same. No, it's similar, but it's not the same. Let me help you, okay? Hagamos esto. Whenever you have questions about pronunciation, I don't know if I tell you about this one. You can go, you can easily go to Google Translate, but this is the only, the only recommendation that I'm giving with Google Translation. Solo quiero que ocupen esto con pronunciación, no para traducir, okay? Let me show you. Only for pronunciation purposes. Miren, aquí está. Quiero saber cómo se pronuncia. So what am I going to write? Where? Look. Where? Mm -hmm. Y la primera vez que yo lo hago, me da esta herramienta útil. How do we pronounce it? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? And look, we have like a similar way of writing this. And you can also see how are you going to pronounce it. Look. Where? Okay. Más despacio. Where? Where? Once again. Where? 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 So can you do it, class? Please, go ahead, please. Where? 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 Once again. Where? 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 So let's confirm. Vamos a comparar. Let me look again. Google Translate. Where? Let's write the other one, that is, pass of verb to be. Listen. Where? ¿Cuál es más corta en pronunciación? It's shorter, Where? 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 
War. 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 Where? No, 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 una es más larga y otra es más corta. Where were. Where were. Where and were. Yes. Nice. Are you see? So this is a where very were. nice, it's a very nice uh, tool. Muy buena herramienta que hasta yo la uso, creo. Como pronuncio, where, como muevo los where, 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 open, where, close. As if you where, are smiling, where, 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 Ah, now you are experts in pronouncing the past of Portuguese. So whenever you have questions about pronunciation, go and use Google Translation. Only for those purposes, please. So let me bring you back the examples. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Okay, so if you're curious about the pronunciation in the negative Foreign, it is very different as well. Look at this one. Weren't. Weren't. Look. Were, weren't. Una sola sílaba. Weren't. Weren't. No son dos sílabas. Weren't. It's just one. Weren't. Do it, please. Weren't. 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 No. Escucho weren't. dos sílabas. I just need to listen one. Es una sola sílaba. Weren't. 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 Yes, we are going to have an exercise weren't. about that one. So, weren't. 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 Wasn't. Weren't. Wasn't. Two syllables. Wasn't. Wasn't. Weren't is just one. Weren't. Wasn't. Weren't. Wasn't. That's it. Great job. Wasn't. Weren't. 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 Yes. Let me show you the same information that we have in the platform so you can practice. Giving information with a simple pass. Or in this case, the pass of the bird to be. So, look. Here we go. This is the information that we have. I was born here. I wasn't born in Italy. You weren't pretty young. You weren't very old. Josue, can you continue reading, please? She. She. She was seven. Yes. She wasn't 
in in college. College. We we were we were at at the air salon. Yes. We were in at the cafe. Yes. Coffee. Cafe or coffee? Cafe. Sure. Cafe. 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 Okay. Uh, they were born in Milan. They they weren't born in Rome. 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 Exactly. So just teacher, as some extra information, tell me. Teacher, eh, disculpe por la pronunciación del café, porque digamos yo lo conocía. Este no te llama es igual café, café. Y yeah. ahí no dice coffee, no que café normal. So this is why. Whenever we have a place and we want to express the name of the place, we can say cafe. For example, cafe. Have you ever heard this one? Internet cafe. So this is the name of the place, not okay. about the drink or beverage, right? So we were yes. at the hair salon, we weren't at the cafe. O oh, cafeteria. Como una contracción o otra forma de llamarle al. al al lugar, okay, at, to the place, oh, okay. not to the beverage. So interesting, right? Very good. So these are affirmative and negative, right? Affirmative and negative. Roxana, can you help me with examples in interrogative way, please? please. Uh, Serían la, las preguntas. Yeah, please. Interrogative. Were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Yes. Uh, was your first teacher American? Yes, she was. Or no, she wasn't. Great. Were your parents born in the US? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Weren't. That's it. Okay, wait. Who's writing? ¿Quién me escribe en la pizarra? Vamos a ver quién está escribiendo. Vamos a deshabilitar. Class, listen. If you see, this is, um, it's not that difficult to use this structure. So how do we make affirmative or negative sentences using was and were? Subject plus was or where, and then we need a complement. How about negative sentences? Subject wasn't or weren't plus complement. Give me your example. Here we go. Were you born in the US? Yes, Josue. Questions? ¿Quién levantó la mano? Who raised the hand? Uy, perdón, teacher. Este, yes. Solo quería preguntarle sobre el was y el were. Yeah, que estamos hablando de que es el verbo to be en pasado, ¿verdad? Yo era, yo estaba, significa. Exactly. That's it. Ah, ok. Sí. Eso quería salir de duda. Nomás. Oh. Excellent. Yes. Excellent question. Muy buena pregunta. So, I was asking you this one. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes or no? Were you born in the U.S.? Yes or no? No, I no, was. I was. Yes. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. No, I, I wasn't. Or no, I wasn't. 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 Ah, so subject. I. This is affirmative. Well, negative. I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. What is my complement? I wasn't. Born U.S. Bueno, aquí nos hace falta algo, ¿verdad? El verbo principal. I wasn't born. Born in the in U.S. In the U.S. 
Esta es la forma larga o la corta si sigue nuestra regla. I wasn't. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. That's it. Me? Because we are giving personal information. Were you born in El Salvador? Were you born in El Salvador? Yes, I was born in El Salvador. Yes, I was. Yes, I was born no, in El Salvador. We can say I was. Yes, we. Made in, in El Salvador. In, yes, right. El Salvador. We are proud <laughs> Salvadorians. I was born in El Salvador, or we were born in El Salvador, right? I was born. I wasn't born in the U.S. No, sí. Yes, I was. So let's practice this question. Where were you born? You are going to tell your classmates about this information. Where were you born? But I need you to be more specific, right? Because we already know that we were born in El Salvador. No, where? Where you born? And donde nacieron? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? What is your answer? For this question. I was born in this I was born in this Okay, I was born in Let's Salvador. mention the city because we already know that we are from El Salvador, right? In my case, I was born in San, in San, San Salvador. Salvador. Uh, Who was born in, in San Salvador? Where were you born? She was born in San Salvador. So you see, if we want to give the same information, but we are talking about uh, the third person or other people, we are going to follow the same structure. Look, he was born. So what does it mean? That we are not going to add an S to the verb, you know? I want to point out this one. Miren la estructura, subject, and then we have was, or where, and the verb in the base form. Look, aunque sea tercera persona, no le agregamos S, no. That's it, she was born, he was born, I was born, okay? Why? Because we have this verb as an auxiliary as well. We are going to take the past of verb to be as an auxiliary, right? So, where were you born? I need you to go ask your classmates about this information and then you are going to give me the answers, right? We are going to have like two or three minutes so you can ask your classmates about this one. Where were you born? Here we go. What is the question that you are going to ask? Where were you born? Where were you born? There we go. Two minutes so Where you can practice you this one. Where were you born? Bring me that information. Go please. It's time to practice. Great. Okay, right now, room number four. Oh. Wow, si está um, <laughs> and city um, Colón. Yo no conozco mm. mucho, pero qué interesante. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Teacher, where were you born? 
I was born in San Salvador. How about you, Haleli? Uh, La Libertad. La I Libertad. was born in Libertad. Okay. And my city is Colón. Okay, that's it. Excellent. How about you, Jessica? Where yes, were you born? I was born in Chachapa City. Chachapa, wow. So I have never been there. Yes. So. The... <laughs> yes. Is um city in the Yucca. Yeah. Ah, really? Yes. Yeah. It is yes. very famous because of that dish, right? It is so famous. So yes. <laughs> can you give me Aleli? Give me Jessica's information, please. How do you get um, that information? Yes. Where were you born? Ya, ya, le, ya estuvimos uh -huh. practicando eso. Your, uh -huh. Now give me the sentence. Tell me her information. Uh, for example, I see my city. She was born in my city. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. She was born in the star uh, in Chalchuapa. About you, Jessica, tell Jessica. me about your classmate. Tell me about the city. Mm -hmm. Dime su compañera, dígame su compañera. Sí, oh. sí, le a la ley chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> She was born. <laughs> she was born in La Libertad. That's how you yes. Think. How about the teacher? Can you give me the information about the teacher? Uh, she was she born in the Salvador. San Salvador. San Salvador. So you see, it's the same structure. La misma estructura utilizamos for personal information and for information about other people, right? Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Y por supuesto, todas las todas las avenidas que han dado en San Salvador han dado oh First Avenue ah, <laughs> y me dice mi esposo que está diciendo la dirección le digo ah oh, vaya simplemente la primera avenida no le digo es First Avenue Oh, that's right. That's, that's great. That's okay. great. You know, that's right. Okay. You need to practice everywhere. So this yes. is the purpose of English. Yes. Right? Yes. Excellent. I really like that. You know. Parezco loca, teach. Oh, come on. Don't worry. This is a, no. a very nice way to practice. Yes. Yes. I need you practice, practice, practice. Is the verb is igual. Exactly, exactly. Uh, let's go back to the main okay. room there. Let's go back. Okay. Great job. Very good. We are ready. You're ready. Excellent. Very good. So take a look at the example. Here we go. Give me the information about your classmates. Oh, just give me a second. Okay, Sonia, who were you working with? Who were you working with, Sonia? Uh, with Josué. Okay, tell me his information, please. Uh, he, he was uh, born in San Salvador. Okay, so Josué, tell me Sonia's information. Microphone. <laughs> yes, please. She, she was born in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Wilson, who were you working with? Excuse me, teacher. Who you were you working with? Who were you? Exactly. Uh, uh, 
No recuerdo su nombre. Come on, class. <laughs> you need to learn your classmate's name. Who was working know, with Wilson? Who was working with Wilson? Who were you working? This Alguien, se... <laughs> ¿Alguien se acuerda quién es tú. <laughs> ¿Alguien se acuerda? <laughs> Who say me? Me, who say me? ¿Quién dijo yo? Me, me, me. Mi, yo. Ah, mi, mi, yo. Mi, mi. Mi, 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 teacher. Roxana, Roxana. It's Roxana. Uh, Wilson, tell me Roxana's information, please. Uh, she was born in San Salvador. Okay. Roxana, tell me Wilson's information. He he was he was born in San Salvador. Okay, Roxana, was Wilson born in Usulután? No. No, he he wasn't. Oh, no, he wasn't. That's okay. Great job, Harrison. Who were you working with? Eh, permítame que se me olvidó el nombre. <laughs> ah, Gladys, Gladys. Who was working with Gladys? Is it true? Gladys. Who was yeah. with? <laughs> What is Gladys? Okay, great. Este, I was born in Salvador. So, Gladys, tell me Herson's information, please. She was born in San Salvador. Okay. So, uh, Gladys, give me his information, please. Hello? Tell me about Herson. Okay, I get she, she got last. Se perdió, creo. Si se fijan, ya no quiero personal information. Y eso ya lo sabemos hacer. I was born. Estamos practicando dar información de alguien más. Right? So that's what we're doing right now. So, las parejas que trabajaron tienen que saber la información de su compañera. Veamos, Jessica Marilu. Ah, ok, don't worry. Jessica Marilu, who were you working with? Yes, uh, Aleli was born in... La libertad. <laughs> okay. So, Aleli, give me just some information. Yes. She was born in Chalchuapa, Santa Ana. Okay. Ah, no, was she... Oh, no, Oh, okay. Was she born in Santa Ana? No. She was born in Chalchuapa, Department de Huachapán. Okay. Excellent information. Next... De Santa Ana. <laughs> Santa Ana is not Chalchuapa. Santa Ana, yes. Nelson, tell me your information, your classmates' information, please. Uh, okay. Uh, Roxana was, was born in San Salvador, and Wilson was born in San Salvador, too. Okay. Oh, interesting. So you see, he is comparing now. So, yes. Wilson, now we already asked you, were you working with Wilson as well? Yes. Ah, yes. so you you three were working together. Oh, interesting. Yes. Walter, tell me your classmates' information, please. Okay, I was working with Saira in Nurian. Great. Saira was born in Sayapango. She said that. Great. And Nurian was born in Sonsonate. In Sons wow, interesting. Interesting. Yes. So, Karina, tell me your classmates' information. I know you were working with them. Give me the information, please. Karina, Nurian, Karina. And Zaira, she was born in Ciudad Delgado. Okay, can you repeat the information, please? And Zaira, she was born mm -hmm. in Ciudad Delgado. 
Okay. And uh, se me da el otro nombre. Walter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Walter, he was born in Soyapango. Soyapango, is that right? Walter, were you born in Soyapango? <laughs> I guess he wasn't born there. Walter, were you born in Soyapango? No, I wasn't. No, no, I wasn't. I, uh -huh. So give me the correct information, I, please. I was born in Ciudad Delgado. Ah, interesting. Oh. Great job. Okay. So you think we are correcting... <laughs> At the maternity hospital, by the way. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let me ask Pablo. Pablo, give me the information, please, about your classmates. Um, Rebecca, uh, she was born in San Salvador. Okay. That's it? Only Rebecca? Yes. So, Rebecca, yes. tell me your classmates' information, please. No me acuerdo el nombre. Ok. Who was the last one? ¿Quién participó de último ahorita? Who was the last one? César. Pablo. Pablo. Eso, clase. Es que dice que iban a dejar la iglesia. Iban a regresar hoy. Tell me his information, please. Pablo was for San, for San Salvador. Pablo was born. Was born in, in San Salvador. Oh, is that right, Pablo? Mm, no, I. Oh, okay. No, I was. Uh, I was born in Santana. Imagine, he was born in Santana, not in San Salvador. Class, you know, <laughs> you don't need to forget about your classmates' information. Oh, come on, it's Son not San San Vecino, it's okay. No, that was not even far. So you see, giving other people's information, and in this case, correcting. Maria Lucila, tell me about your classmates, please. Is um, Kimberly, they were born in San Miguel. Great. Both of them were born in San Miguel. Really, San Miguel. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Wow. So, girls, do you know each other? Se conocen or just in the class? Do you live near? No? <laughs> oh, really? So you see, interesting information. They live or they know each other. So they both were born in San Miguel. So girls, tell me Maria Lucila's information, please. Maria Lucila was born in La Libertad. La libertad. Is that right? Yes. Very good. So you see, they remember about their classmates' information. Um, Elvis, please. Rosemary Beatriz was born in Mexicanos. Rosemary, give me his information, please. Yes. I guess I didn't get it. Did you? Come? Uh, yes, pero se como que se corta un poco. Uh -huh. Okay. 
WhatsApp. Please, Rosemary, si lo puede escribir en el chat. So we can read it. Okay. It's okay. Great. So let's have two more, two more participants, but I need volunteers. Two more volunteers. So you can tell me your classmates' information. Marina, go ahead, please. Cesar was born in Santana and Irma was born in Aguachapan. Imagine Santana and Aguachapan. Interesting. Fernando, please, go ahead. Me tocó con, me tocó con Ana Estefanía. Y she was born in San Salvador. Okay. Is that it? Okay, Aleli, go ahead, please. Uh, teacher, para que no quede solito Elvis. He is he was born is Chalatenango. He was born in Chalatenango. Is that true, yes. Elvis? Yes, it is. Wow. So you see, now we have some extra information about your classmates and the specific place, a specific place where they were born, right? So what did we learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos ahora? What did we learn today? Was, was of birth to be. The use of was, 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 was and where. <laughs> Affirmative, negative sentences, and a little bit more Question. about your classmates. Yes, questions, preguntas también. So we are going to Oh, today is Thursday. So it means that tomorrow we are not having classes, right? My God. So now, listen, I just uh, want you to remind you that you need to go to the platform and complete section number four. That is the one that they are going to check, right? We are going to leave section number five for Monday, Monday through Thursday, right? Section cinco nos queda para la otra semana. So, thank you, class. Thank you so much for joining. This fruit and so fin de semana again. So, Friday. Happy weekend. Have a happy weekend, okay? And practice your English. That is my recommendation. See you on Monday. All right. Very good. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.